Two years after the mass shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School, more than a dozen victims, including families of the deceased, have filed a lawsuit to hold the FBI accountable. They say that the agency ignored multiple red flags that had been raised about the confessed shooter. CBS 4's Kerry Cott is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on this. Kerry. Right, let's take you back just uh, uh, just after midnight on January 5th, 2018. A person who knew Nicholas Cruz called the FBI. This is a transcript of that call. That caller alerted the FBI to Cruz's threatening behavior, his purchasing of guns, and what she said were his comments that he wanted to kill people. And of course, he's accused of doing that just a few weeks later. Now, the FBI admitted they failed to properly investigate that tip, and now more than a dozen of the victims are suing the FBI here in federal court. 17 people died in the Parkland shooting in February 2018. 17 others were shot and injured. Now, attorneys estimate that more than a dozen of those victims and their families have filed lawsuits against the FBI for failing to investigate a pair of tips the agency received about the confessed shooter prior to the shooting. My daughter died because they didn't do anything about it. Lori Oladev's daughter, Alyssa, is one of the victims. Their protocols failed, and they should be held accountable. Six weeks before the shooting, a woman close to Nicholas Cruz called the FBI and told them of disturbing pictures of guns on his social media pages and of threats he was making. She said he wanted to kill people. She gave the FBI the address and phone number of where Cruz was staying. According to Oladev's lawsuit, the FBI call taker consulted with her supervisor, and the matter was closed without any further action. The FBI apologized publicly days after the tragedy and apologized privately to the victim's families. The FBI has determined that protocol was not followed. We truly regret any additional pain that this has caused. Oladev's lawyer Robert Kelly wants to know why the FBI did not investigate the tip. For the past year they have been fighting tooth and nail to keep us from getting that information. We will find out. The FBI earlier received another tip about a comment made by a person named Nicholas Cruz on YouTube saying he was going to be a professional school shooter. That tip also went nowhere. There are two ongoing lawsuits by Parkland victims against the FBI. In those cases, the FBI is fighting the allegations and asked a judge to dismiss them, saying the United States is not legally responsible for the actions of Nicholas Cruz. Lori Oladef believes they are and says the FBI needs to own up to its mistakes. We say, see something, say something. People said something and the FBI did nothing. Now, these lawsuits were filed just before the two-year mark of the shooting due to a statute of limitations issue. I reached out to the FBI. They said they could not comment on pending litigation. But in the past, they have said that they have made changes to the way they handle these calls, including increasing training, adding staff, and, of course, putting a greater scrutiny and emphasis on threatening calls. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Kerry, thank you.